Hey everybody, Ethan here from The Happy Pill Project with a quick reminder that if you like the content that we provide on this channel and want to help support us, please immediately smash the subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to like and share useful videos with your friends. If you have any questions, comments, or want to make a technique request, drop us a note in the comment section. Thanks again for your support, everybody. People doing this, okay? You're like, the, in, in the, and then I see people doing these drags right from here. With gi, it's great. Like, but this is no gi, dude. And you're gonna start grabbing this leg like this, and he's gonna curl this guy over like this. He's not a rookie. Like, we're not playing. We're playing good blacks to blacks. You're like this. So you should have a three-step count on this. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to little bit of fake and bake, right? Little bit. So I'm gonna go one way. I'm gonna jump off one foot and land on one foot. And then my next reaction is to drive in and lower. There's a reason I want to lower. It's only three steps. It's not this silly stuff going like this. And I'm looking this way and that man's over there. I'm exaggerating the turn, but they're a high level play. You're not going to get them on that turn. So you're like this and you go one, I, lay, I push off that back foot. I just landed on this foot. Okay, this looks light as a feather because later on, if this leg comes over, I'm out the other way, jumping back off this foot, coming this way. So it's three steps. One, I landed, right? I shoot right back in. My goal is I saw you with your legs up in the air and I have a chance to insert underneath there with a shelf. How, and it's really critical, don't shelf like this. For the older gentleman, squat, squat. If I can squat, you can squat. I got so many wears and tears on this body. I'm like this and I go left, one, two, I'm down. Right, because maybe later on, if you throw over on me, I'm so low that I'm switching and coming right back on you the other way. But I also want to protect from that throw over. So once I land, so it's one, two, drop. You showed me this. You showed me the back of that. I'm going for a shelf, but I'm not going to telegraph that thing like this. Okay, take it and shove. This isn't gee. And gee, great. Great, I get a fabric, I go one, and I drive. This is no gi, I'm gonna lose the grips, right? So I'm like this, and Poi's just gonna hold the feet like this. And you're gonna go on a five count this way and this way. But I'm gonna ask you, your goal is to shelf this. So if he can't figure, I'm going left, right. So I go heavy on one, I throw over, I drop right away. I had my shelf, that's the only thing I wanted. I came in at a shelf a different angle, right? So I'm going one, two, and dropping. Because as I drop, I never touched you. All I wanted to protect was from that recovery leg. You showed me a shelf on the bottom of the calf. So I'm going on a three-step count, right? I'm not going bump, bump, landing this foot. This foot's light as a feather. So when I jumped off the back foot, he's landing low to come underneath because all I wanted was that shelf. I never moved you. I never moved you. I'm asking you to do a little shake and bake on it because I don't want him to know where I'm going. I'm not gonna telegraph it, so what's the big deal of loading up the leg one way? Because he's gonna think I'm going this way. And now I'm shooting it back the other way. I'm light as a feather, that leg's up in the air. And now he's driving and, and coming down on the squatting position, because I wanna shelf that leg. And I also wanna be able to follow you in case you turn on me. So we're doing five step counts, three rounds. Left, right, left, right, left, right. If you got, if, if I'm gonna tell you sometimes, Guys are gonna do this. They're gonna jump on this leg and they're gonna land that leg. You should not be touching that foot on the mat. Once you land it, that leg's light as a feather because I may land here and Pauly curls over the top and I'm shooting back this way, right? So I'm learning how to land and drop. Learning how to land and drop. I'm on a deep shelf. I lowered my body. I protected from the recovery leg coming over the top. Let's do it. Drill it awful. You'll perform it awful and it won't be part of your game. Um, and then you're just doing everything out of sequence. And I, the reason I say, I see people going like this, and now they're inserting, and now they're dropping like this. That leg would have come over already. Come on. Right? I'm like this. And I go, drop. And I'm going down low to come right back in. But you better drop. There's a reason why I need you to drop. Because as he throws over, I want to be ready to drop this knee and spin on it. Right? But I'm up here coming low and my knee's late on the drop and I'm late on the turn and you never pass. And the ones that are doing it wrong, I mean, honestly, you guys are terrible passers. The ones that are doing right have high levels of success in passing. And the ones I see doing it out of sequence, they don't really pass anybody. 
Like, they really don't. I'm just being honest with you. You don't pass any high-level guys because your sequencing is out of whack, and you're only as good as your, your weakest link. So if you're not dropping, and that you're going to be late on this knee drop and on the backspin, and then we can't even do move number two because you're going to be like this, like this, and he's going to throw this over, and now he's going to land this like this. He's going to push you away in one second and recover this leg, and you were late on this drop, and you were, you were angled poorly to come this way, and it all started bad. Right? I'm like this, and I'm going to ask you to touch him. I'm not showing him anything, right? Later on, I just go, boom, and I'm just dropping here. I don't have to touch him, right? So don't, you're doing a drill. I'm going to ask him to leave the shelves high so I can do the drill. I'm going, dump, dump, down low. Why do I even have to go there? I can go, jump low, come back, right? I'm here, I'm going, he's my tool. I'm coming down nice and low to come in here. Some people ask me this question. What do I do with this hand? Sometimes what's going to happen is you come quickly and you come a little too fast. You're like this, right? You jump and you're dropping and he's going to try to shrimp hard. Shrimp that way. So this hand comes on this sternum, right? You're, I'm trying to show you how it happens like in, in a quarter second. This hand's going to come on the sternum for a reason because I either want to punch the pocket on the drop or I want to slow the shrimp down. So I should have been here anyway. I should have been as, when, stay right there, Paul. When I came back with this kneecap and I, so I went this way, I jumped this way and I come back and I'm touching him because I want to be aggressive in this touch because if Paulie shrimps this out, I may just push this knee and come through. I may, I may come in here. As Paulie shrimps out, I may punch this pocket and come high. I don't know how it's going to play out. But that hand comes to the sternum initially. If I get the drive going, meaning that I'm starting to, from supine, turn him this way, I don't need to drive. As I'm driving, I'm dropping my elbow to collect him because I want to be able to, at the, with the back of the tricep, be able to go for a ride and get my insertions on the back quadrant later. So this tricep is going to drive here. But more importantly, I don't even want him to turn. I want to drop this elbow that was on his sternum to the back of the tricep on the belly line so I can collect him almost like a barrier that I'm collecting this hip and somehow this hip has to make this rotation past the shoulder line. So this hand had a purpose. It goes to the sternum first because I don't know the angle. Some guys will shrimp because I'm so deep on the insertion and some guys will just go up on the shoulder. I don't know how it's going to play out. So I can't tell you. I, every guy's going to have a different reaction. It's so false when they tell you, like, oh, he does this. No, he doesn't. Every guy does something different. Come here. Right? So you're like this, right? And you're just doing that three-step drop. So I'm going to ask you, let's see if we can do move number two. But the people who are short move number one, now you're going to have problems with move number two. I come like this, okay? And I jumped. I went like this. Boom. And you don't have to touch him. Why? This is no gi. I'm like this. I'm going, okay, it's tournament play. He's swinging those legs all crazy. And I'm going, boom. And I'm down. Right, and I'm coming back in, okay? And as I landed right here, I didn't get to the point of this or any of that. And Paulie throws that leg over, perfect. I'm so low now, my left leg, the one on this side is just gonna drop and I'm gonna, I'm gonna flare this guy like we were doing a sprawl pass. So I'm gonna go right back in on a sprawl to release this leg so I can step over it and come right back in the other way. I hope that made sense. So the people that I was nitpicking on just a second ago, if you're doing it out of sequence, forget about this move. You better stick to move number one because now you're going to be late on move number two. Okay, so as part of it, let's do it. I don't have to spin like this. I don't have to drop and go like this because then I'm never going to get him, right? I just wanted to release the shelf that I initially made, right? So Poi throws over, and all I did was I, I don't really care. I know some people are grabbing it, and you can if you want, but this is no gi, high level. You just got to beat him on a turn and catch him later. So I know they'll show it, and you go like, yeah, I know, but he's more like a purple and blue. He's not, this isn't, I'm like this. And now I just want to get rid of his shelf. I don't need to spin this, and I don't need to look this way and be turned this way when he's over there. It goes back to the past I told you guys earlier where you're going, huh, I'm looking this way, and he's over there? No way. Right? So minimal. You didn't see my, my shoulders square up. I was like this. I'm like this. And Polly throws over. And I go, I'm, my square, I'm ready to come forward. I wasn't looking that way. Okay? So last round, everybody goes uh, one time, 90 seconds, and we get our rounds in. Let's do it.